Senior Citizens Presents. Today we started to have another little different kind of program, a little more on the fun side. And being this Halloween, we thought we would give you a little Halloween program. The title is Halloween Yesterday and Today. I'm Hallie Shankle, and my host today is manager of the Wims Meal Site at the Clark House, Betty Jones. Hi there, Betty. Are you ready? Hi, Hi Hallie. You look real nice in your little outfit. Well, you do are you too. Going, are you going trick or treating? Not today. Oh. No, not today. Tomorrow maybe or Monday. Oh, all right. I'd like to know a little bit about Halloween. Are you ready to answer some questions? For I me? sure will. All I know. Okay. It was started in the 19th century, and it was started by the Scotch and the Irish. It seemed like before All Saints Day, which is November the 1st, there was darkness and they feared that the spirits, the dark spirits more or less, would be on earth. And they started fires and they even burnt their crops. And they, they had fear and they just thought, well, maybe if they would uh, have a fire or something, it would destroy the evil spirits. And then the next day, the saints would there be All Saints Day, see? So that's how it was started. Kind of a religious. Right. Why the colors black and orange? Well, as I said, it was a dark time, and uh, burning the uh, crops and everything was for the black. And the next day, in the All Saints, of course, there was crops still left, which was golden, and the moon made it the orange and black. Were there any festivals held? Yes, that's one thing they had. They had a festival they call Shamleen, but it was pronounced sam -een. And that was when they gathered up wood. The Celt boys would go from door to door and gather up wood so they could start a big bonfire so that everybody would dance around it and everything. And the children would go from door to door, and they would say, a soul cake. We want a soul cake. A penny for a soul cake. So, of course, as the door went to the doors, why the people gave them treats. And today, that is our trick and treats. The storekeepers would let the children decorate the windows, and then they would give them little gifts for it. Hmm. So that was how the festivals were made. Well, what about the owl and the witch and the cats? Well, each one of them has, plays a significant part in Halloween. The witch, the word witch, or W-I-C, means wise woman because she knew all about stars and moon and magic and the right herbs for people's health. She liked the cat because the cat was mysterious and black. She liked the owl because of its hooting sound. And she liked the toad and the frog because they were ugly. Mm. But everyone thinks as a witch as being something evil. But in reality, she was a wise woman. Mm. Well, some children wear sheets. Why? Well, uh, All Saints Day, November the 1st, as I said was returning of good people, known as saints. And of course, saints meaning holy. So of course, the children wore sheets in those times. But today, they have turned it around to ghosts and goblins. What about the jack-o'-lantern? Jack-o'-lantern. That is a strange deal. This man's name was Jack. And because he was supposed to be close to the devil, why, he had a lantern, and he had to take it down through the streets. He was supposed to guide people in the right direction, but Jack O'Lantern used to direct people in the wrong directions. But hmm. that's where the name Jack O'Lantern came from. Hmm. Now, what about the pumpkins? Are they the same? Oh, no, pumpkins. That is another deal. Pumpkins <coughs> was not even known in Scotland. The children used to carve out turnips. Turnips, Betty. Big purple and white turnips. 
Instead of pumpkins. And, yes, and they'd put them on a stick and carry them through the street. Hmm. Then later, of course, pumpkins was used instead of the turnips. And you know, England don't even uh, celebrate uh, Halloween. Is that right? They celebrate All Saints Days, but not Halloween. Hmm. Okay, it seems how we've gone yesterday. What about today? Oh, there's a lot of things to say about today. What did First I of all, there was house parties. I can remember years ago where when we was going to school, we went to house parties. Don't you remember some of your house parties? Oh, I never had too many house parties. You have children. Surely you remember some things that they used to do. But I wasn't allowed to help with the kids' house parties. They always said, Mother, you go. You just go. And we'll take care of the parties. Of well, what was their parties consisted of, though? Well, I think it was like a slumber party, more or less than anything, you know. Decorate Up the house. Up all night, yes. Decorate the house. Yes. Go what to eat? What to eat? Mm -hmm. Oh, just anything and everything. It, the house would be clear of food the next day. Mostly girl parties. The boys didn't seem to be interested in Did parties. they ever bob for apples? No. We used to. Put a tub on the middle of the floor and put water in it, put apples in there and make them keep their hands behind their back and bob for apples. Sounds like a lot of fun. It was. And they also used to peel their apples and throw it over their shoulder and whatever initial came out on the floor, why that was supposed to be their sweetheart. Uh, what about the black and orange today? Would that have symbols of yesterday too? Yesterday, I told you, but yeah. what about today? That's what I mean. What would Why you say? Would, oh, I'd say black cats and uh, orange pumpkins and the moon and the uh, night. I would say that was a pretty good comparison. Mm -hmm. And now we're talking about parades. Oh, I can remember... Uh, about two, three years ago, I was invited to come to the Clark House for mm -hmm. their the kids' parade. It happened to be raining that night, and I got a phone call, and they wanted me to come down. And the kids would parade around the dinner section, and and those senior citizens just loved it. It was just great for them. I participate in that, Betty. I know. And I always dress up at the door because I feel that a child is more feels more at home if someone's dressed up like they are. There was just lots of them. Just lots of them. I can't remember it was before the parade or after the parade, though. After the parade. Was it after? Yes. And another thing, today they have so many different kinds of costumes. Years ago, I suppose it was sheets and witches. But today it could be, oh, it could be most anything. Like the rabbit. The raisins. The raisins. The mailboxes. Yeah. They can just... And, oh, and we mustn't forget about outer space. There's oh, yes. always characters and yeah, yeah. like outer space. It, it, it really is as enjoyable to see all these children come in their various costumes. They always used to cut pumpkins, faces out of pumpkins, you know, make the eyes and the nose, and then they'd put a candle inside the pumpkin. Now they just paint the faces on. Oh, do they? There's oh, that much difference, huh? My grandkids have showed me their pumpkin faces and and how they painted them and one's got a bandage over his eye and <laughs> it's just hilarious. We used to go to dances, my folks and I. There was always Halloween dances and of course everybody dressed up in costume and they'd have what they called a grand march. My folks would be picked out to a lot of times for the grand march. In fact, they had received many, many gifts in regards to being at a Halloween dance. I remember one time my mother's costume was made. It was called a golden girl. My father had taken a big hat that she had and gilded it. Had a big gilded pin and a breast pin, you know, and she had on a yellow dress and uh, gilded shoes. And I think he went as a clown or uh, maybe it was a hobo. But anyway, they got a prize. And well, I, one other time, my father fixed up another man to look like a sheik with all his trimming, and he received $10 at the country club. So that is different than what it used to be. 
Yeah. You know, Halloween is, is a great time for children. But well, I don't know. I think the older people kind of like yes, it, too. Yes, they're beginning to enjoy yeah. it, too. All you have to do is go down on those parade streets and see the people that are lined up for the parades. Yeah, yeah. Um, it has been two years ago. I, I sat at the, in my front room and waited for my grandkids to come trick-or-treating, and I dressed up as a witch, as you see. Yeah. I am now. And I sat there for an hour and a half, and not one came. No child. No child came. They came the next night. Oh, wrong and night. I was wrong night. <laughs> so I dressed up there and watched television just as big as you please. I, I was all ready for the trick-or-treaters, but they never did show up. I lived at a place where there was a lot of children in a very, oh, maybe three or four blocks. And I'd have a lot of children come to the door. I remember one little boy come to the door, and I was, had made some homemade cookies. And he said, is that all you got are cookies? And I said, that's all I got is cookies. And his sister said, well, that's all right if we get enough of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about the haunted house, Hallie? Have you heard now, of that? No, that is just, that's present time, it seems like, or just in the last few years. Mm -hmm. It seems like organizations have these haunted houses, and they charge so much to go through this haunted house. Then the money is taken to charity. I uh, listened on uh, television the other day, and it seems to me that West Liberty has one of these haunted houses, and it's going to be where they used to hold their fair. I heard that too. Do we have one in Muskegon? I, I, you know, I haven't heard. I, I just, I guess I'm so involved with my my meal site that in our Halloween party that I just haven't really heard. Are you going to have a Halloween party? Oh yes. We're gonna when have, is it? It's going to be tomorrow. I mean Friday. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to be given fruit baskets and candies, and we're just going to have a good time. We dress up there, too. Well, that's good. Yeah. I I'm have, always in favor of dressing up. I have one little lady that comes down, and uh, she dresses up her cane, too. Oh. You know, it's just a great, great thing for them. Yeah, that's right. Well, is there anything we've missed, Betty? I don't know. I, uh trying to figure we out here. We seem to have covered quite a ground, but I just wondered if we've missed anything. Oh, yes, we have missed something. We did. In regards to uh, mask, they advise that children shouldn't wear a mask. They should make up their faces. Do you have any idea what they use to make up faces? Oh, I think they've got several things on the market, like paints and and dry blood, but who wants to put that stuff we on? We used to have milk and magnesia for the white skin. Is that right? We used to have burnt cork for our eyebrows or our mustaches. And we had r red hots that you put in, oh, applesauce and things to paint up your lips. And I see they advise that being pretty good for children instead of having them wear a mask and then they can't see out of them perhaps. And they're, and, well, it's not good really. And some of the masks are so ugly and so grotesque. Yeah, yeah. The ones that cover the whole head. Yeah. Uh, there's lots of things that should be observed for Halloween. In the first place, you should go with your children. A child alone on Halloween is no good. Or right. two or three young ones to be together, that isn't good. That's right. Uh, there should be precautions taken. Yeah. And another thing, it's a good policy, is to carry a flashlight with you and to dress in bright colors. Well, they have these uh, uh, strips that you can put on you too that show glows in the dark. Oh, I didn't know about yeah, that. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, I've seen that on television. I must watch a lot of television. Well, but. every time, every day, there's always some new things, it seems like, well, that makes Halloween so interesting, I guess. What's your favorite candy at trick or treat time? Well, all day suckers. <laughs> With the Tootsie Pops in the middle? Yes. Or the great big all day suckers? Last year, well, in fact, several years, a couple of us went together and put money in their little boxes and their uh, pumpkin heads and everything they had, you know, nickels and things like that. We didn't ha go out and buy candy because there was quite a bit of candy and cookies given by the senior citizens, so. But they really enjoy coming there to the meal site. Yeah, and I remember the one year I was down there, Maddie Becky, yes. if you remember her, she used to always give them money. 
Nichols. Oh, oh did she? She had, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. They're getting a lot more acquainted by coming down. The first year or so, we only had maybe four or five people, but there's a lot more. Last year, there was a lot more. Do you think they look for that, look yes. forward to that? I uh -huh. think so, too. Will we be able to do that this year? I think so. I don't know why not. They're going I think to do it, but I don't know whether you and I will be there or not. Oh, that's right. We're it not going to be there. Night when we're, we're going to go out partying, aren't we? That's right. We're going partying. How about that? Well, be darned. Are you going to, what are you going to dress up as? I have no idea. I'll, um, I don't think I'll wear this, but I think that I will get something else that I will wear. I'm, I'm going to dress up. I'm not going to wear the same thing, though. You aren't? No, no. I can't eat this beard much longer. Um, <laughs> is the Y going to have a doings? The Y, the y always, I think, gives them uh, gifts. After the parade? I believe so. I believe that's the way it was started in the beginning, that the Y would give them gifts. Did you uh, have some helpful hints for the kids today? No. You don't have helpful hints? No. Have your mother check over your candy before you eat it? And Watch your that's a good deal. apples that's a good and your goodie. oranges. Don't let the children eat anything that they just have been dropped into their little containers without right. at least examining it, especially if it's unwrapped. Right, right. Well, I have a little Halloween uh, poem, Hallie. Do you have one? I have one, too. You read yours first. Okay. If you should chance to meet a ghost or goblin on the street, don't be alarmed at what you've seen because tonight is Halloween. It's Halloween you see and witches too are on the spree. Perched in their brooms you see them flying across the dark and eerie sky. Black cats are on the prowl no doubt you will find them scurrying about. Pumpkins bright with candlelight will be on window seals tonight. Yes creatures such as these are seen once a year on Halloween. True. That's a nice poem. There was so many in different books and things, it was kind of hard to even choose what poem you wanted to say. But we thought that you would enjoy watching our little Halloween scenes today, and we know that you're going to have a good time on Halloween. So I'll add my little nickels worth, too. This is called Pumpkin Bells. Dashing through the street in our costumes bright and gay, to each house we go, Laughing all the way. Ha, 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 ha. Halloween is here, making spirits bright. What fun it is to trick or treat and sing pumpkin carols tonight. Oh, pumpkin bells, Betty. Pumpkin, pumpkin bells, pumpkin, pumpkin bells, all the way. Lying clear. Oh, what fun, great pumpkin time <laughs> with Halloween to beer. <laughs> Oh, Betty, this has been great fun. I've really enjoyed this, and I hope that we can do these kind of shows every once in a while. I'm sure that the people out here, out there, looking in, will enjoy our shows. And uh, we want to thank the people, you know, that are looking at our shows every day. We, we want to bring things of interest to them, and every once in a while there's new subjects brought up, and we want to keep the television program growing and we appreciate all the work that we put in here. We have a wonderful crew and we're just we're just more than satisfied with everything. Oh, um, are you coming to the meal site tomorrow? I'm just not sure, Betty, whether I'm going to make it tomorrow or not, but I hope so. I have some other obligations and perhaps I won't be there, but I will try to be there at the meal site. We're going to uh, have a lot of fun things going, and uh, uh, hopefully we'll have a big crowd. We're going I'm to... I'm sure you will. I'm sure that, uh, especially those that come and eat, they just like to come and watch the other people. Yeah, yeah. On uh, Monday, you say you're not going to be there. You're going, we're going partying, partying, right? Yeah, well, we have to go early in the afternoon, don't we? Four or five o'clock in the afternoon. I, the children won't be there before six. Oh no, I don't think our party starts till seven. Six thirty? Seven? Oh, no, it's earlier than that, Betty, because really? you get your supper. Oh, I guess I'm not in with the program, huh? No, it, you get your supper, so I'm sure that it will be uh, early. I think that they open the doors at four thirty in the afternoon. Is that right? 
And, of course, they be at the doors early, too. Oh, yeah, you know, sure. You know. And if you don't get there early, you don't get a seat. Well, and, I really don't want a seat. Well, I know you don't, Betty, but I do. I want to be right up in the front where I can see everything. And dance. Yeah, well, You're a, a great dancer. That anyway. Not too much, but a little of it. Yeah. I'm grateful for the knowledge that I can dance. My father taught me when I was 16 years old. And we went to a lot of parties and a lot of things that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. And when I went to hear and to read about the history of Halloween, I learned things that I didn't realize. That it must have been wonderful in the days that they first had Halloween. I mean, people must have enjoyed it. They enjoy it now, it, but it seems like it, it seemed has, like they didn't back then. It seems like well, things are so different now. They're at the, those times, they didn't need any precautions like we have to have nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I, uh, I've had some sad things happen to me on Halloween, but uh, yeah, that's, I, over the years, I've, uh -huh. I've coped with it. Uh -huh. And it's just really not my favorite time, but no. I, I do play around, and, you know, and, and, and do the I've, Halloween. And I've been in plays, you know, and concerning uh, Halloween it's, that has been interesting. And I think the merchants take a little more pride in, in um, or not pride in helping on Halloween. Yeah, yeah. And all in all, I think it's a very good project. I really Halloween think. should be just as important as a Christmas walk, wouldn't you think? No, no, Christmas stands high, but Halloween is nice for children. And, but Christmas stands the best on the totem pole. Oh, I suppose. Yeah. I was kind of hoping maybe the merchants would have uh, uh, their windows and stuff decorated up for Halloween and paintings on them, like, you know, like they do when they have... Uh, maybe they do out to the mall. I didn't go out there, so no. I don't know what might be. I don't be think they do they... have. Uh -uh. Well, is there anything you can add to this that uh, we have haven't covered? I don't really know. Uh, I, I think I've covered just about everything. Uh, parades and parties, haunted houses, and uh, um, the moon, the darkness, the owl, the black cats. And have you ever seen children cry because they didn't get that extra piece of candy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But... Uh, I just hope it doesn't rain. I hope no, that the kids not have a nice, warm, uh, not evening, too warm, but yeah. an evening of joy. And right. uh, do you know the times that they're going to go? Six o'clock. Six? Yeah, that's supposed to be the time. Well, uh, I don't have any little ones to go Halloween with. I don't either. <laughs> so it's always fun to watch them when they come to the house. We don't have them come to the meal side, I mean to the Clark house. But uh, if Grandma has her little tots come in, why, of course, I'm always glad right there to talk to them and right. give them little treats. Right. Well, can you think of anything we haven't covered? No, I think we've done a real good job of covering it all. I've enjoyed this, and I'm sure everybody else has enjoyed this. And I want to thank you folks out there. Keep watching our programs. Do you know you, when do you know when me. our do you know when our next program is? No, I, I don't know when it is and uh, but we'll be working on it. We keep on working, Betty, because there's always plenty to do. There's plenty of subjects to discuss and plenty of things to make everybody happy. Thank you for watching. Thanks for my good, good crew. They're always so good about helping. And I thank you, Betty, for giving me your time. Betty.